Alrighty, hello, I'm back. This is take two. Hopefully this time you can hear me. So I'm just gonna wait for a second until I get a notification that you all can hear me. I don't know what's going on. Sometimes um, sound goes out and some others everything it's fine. So if you can hear me, let me see. Okay, I can hear myself, so I'm thinking it's all good. Anyway, like I said, I don't know, sometimes it seems like the Facebook Live doesn't, doesn't like me. <laughs> but all is good. Anyway, good deal. All right, so thank you so much for joining me back. Um, like I said, it's, it's just, I don't know, who doesn't love Facebook glitches, seriously. So anyway, I'm glad to be back. Um, so like I said, last week I was off on holiday, so I couldn't join. I really miss you all, and then the bad thing is that my internet connection was awful where I was, so I couldn't post anything, I couldn't do anything, and so it was just a disaster. I had my computer with me because I wanted to send it, and then I couldn't do anything, so I'm so sorry about that. So anyway, to make it up, I will be sending a few free tutorials that I have, so just to stay, um, just stay, uh, I don't know what I'm saying, in contact with your email, you're going to be getting some uh, some tutorials just to make it up because like I said, I thought I was going to be able to share with you more things last week and I just couldn't do anything with the Wi-Fi that I had. So, <laughs> I was beginning to have withdrawals. <laughs> That's so funny, Shannon. <laughs> so anyway, um, so lots of good things going on. So I have three, well, two classes and then the card club that I'll share with you. One of them is the beauty of tomorrow. Like I said, this one is the one where the ephemera pack had been on back order. I was able to grab a few of those uh, for a period of time because they came back and they're back again on back order. Can you believe that? Like, it's just crazy how soon, like, I think they were only available for like a day or so and then they were back on back order. So anyway, so I got and able to grab a few of those um, ephemera packs so that I can share this class. And so I just released it. It's only open for two weeks. There's limited availability just because, again, it's on back order, but um, it is to make 10 cards. So you'll get all the supplies uh, to make 10 cards, so two of each. And what I love about these, uh, these card class is really all the sentiments. It's just a really good encouragement. They're fall related colors, but they're still really good even if you don't send them during fall. I think they're still really good. The sentiments are just really nice and I just love them because um, it's like encouragement and just thinking of you kind of type of card. So definitely I thought it would be nice. So it is available. The last day to sign up for this card class is uh, November 20, uh, 22nd if I remember. So it's not or it's actually the 19th. Yeah, I think it's November 19th or the 20th, somewhere around that. Um, and so there's only two weeks. So between this week, next week, and that's it. And then I'll have to close registration. And then the same thing for the Whimsical Trees, which is the last uh, stamp stack that I have for Christmas cards, which is the one where I've been, we've been doing the 12 cards, so three of each. And so this is the last stamp stack of 2021. And uh, super excited. There's already five of those, so this is the fifth one. And so, um, like I said, this is for 12 cards. And it's also available open for registration for the next two weeks. You can get the tutorial for both of these already at my store at creatingreality.com forward slash shop. Or if you go to my blog, just look where it says uh, tutorial shop. You're going to be able to see all of them. And then the final thing is the card club, which um, I'm super excited. The first month um, is November. So the next kit is December. And like I mentioned, I think a couple of weeks ago, we have the Eden's Garden, which is the suite that I uh, I am featuring for this club. And I just love all the different cards in this one. So this is the next uh, card club that I have. And um, you'll need to have that, uh, what is this called? The bundle to be able to make them. Um, but everything else, like the paper, uh, will be uh, will be sent to you on that kit. Again, uh, and this is part of the card club. Now, Card Club is $39. Um, it's a subscription thing. So once you get in, 
you'll um, you'll get every single kit for as long as you remain active. You can cancel at any time. And so if you want to learn more about this one, you can go at creatingwithali.com forward slash card club where you can sign up and subscribe and then make sure you fill up the Google form where you let me know where do you want me to be mailing the, the card kit. Because sometimes the address in PayPal is not the same as your real address, you know. Um, and so make sure you all you go back to your to the Google Forms to be able to set to be able to set up your address. Now um, all the information, like I said, is on that page. So creatingwithali.com forward slash cart club, and it is thirty nine dollars. It already includes the shipping, so you'll get about twenty dollars worth of merchandise uh, plus the cart kit, the video tutorials, and then. The cool thing is that after six months, consecutive months, six months, you'll get also a goodie bag that is another $25 worth of product. So I think that you're going to enjoy it. I hope you stay with me for as long as you want. And um, anyway, so that's pretty much it. Um, and the final thing is that we have an incredible deal where you can get the starter kit for $75. And so you'll select $125 worth of products or up to 125 and you only pay $75 plus tax. There's no cheaping. And so you'll get an incredible deal. And so for that reason, I um, I wanted to share the cards today. Can I give you an idea of what the starter kit would look like? Now, again, you can pick anything you want. This is just an, uh, just giving you like an idea of a new kit so that you can see about how much you're gonna be getting. Um, and like I said, it's only $75 plus tax. So um, if you just drop out, um, you can sign up again. There's no issues. Or uh, if you want to give it a try, you can also sign up. And then also once you get the starter kit, all your subsequent orders get a 20% discount um, and there's no penalties. So you can do as much or as little as you want. And when you get that starter kit, at least that 20% goes all the way through April, 2022, because it's a full quarter to make your minimum. And so that will be until until April. So it is a great, great, great time to get that starter kit. So anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be sending some emails between now and then. And that promotion is between now and uh, November, uh, what is this? The 30th. Okay. So the end of the month. So anyway, so let's just go with that. Let me flip the camera and let's start doing all the, all the videos. So give me a second here. Don't get, so get DC. Uh, where's the thing here? All right, good deal. All righty, so, um, like I said, give me one second here. I'm gonna be using the Christmas season, and I said that and now I don't find, oh, here it is. Yes, so this is the bundle that I'm gonna be using. Let me just pull out all these things. Um, there we go. And let me also turn off the lighting. Give me a second. You can imagine that after I don't know that you can see better, but anyway, we're gonna go with this. Um, okay, so my scissors, the adhesive, cause you know, I'm gonna start losing everything here in a second, so. All right, so dimensionals are here, so everything is here. So anyway, so here is the bundle we're gonna be using. This is part of the Painted Christmas, is that right? Yeah, so Painted Christmas Suite. So I'm gonna be using the bundle and then the sentiments as well from this other stamp set that it's part of this um, suite. Now this one is Christmas to remember and it's only the greetings. And then the Christmas season is the one that has the images with the, um, all the, like the foliage and the leaves and the little berries and the, uh, what are you calling, pine cones, I think it is. Um, anyway, so that's what we're gonna be using. Um, I'm also gonna be using the Sherry Cobbler Gold Ribbon because I love how well it goes with this suite. And then I'm also gonna be getting the, um, the designer series paper. Okay, so now that designer paper, um, I have here a lot of it. Um, but anyway, it's just a pack, it's 12 by 12. And so what I was telling you is like, if you wanted to do like a starter kit, pretty much you can get um, the um, bundle and then this is stamp set. Now the bundle is 54 when you get it together um, as a bundle. This one is only $22. And then you'll get, uh, you could also pick the designer series paper. So let's just see this. Cause I just want to see what it looked like. Then I put also the, um, the rhinestones and a full spool of the, 
what is this? Their cherry cobbler. What else did I put? I also put a pack of the glue dots and then dimensionals. I put two because I always like the large and the mini ones. So I put two of them. Let me just see what else I put. And the glue, yeah, the dimensionals. I think that's it. So pretty much all of these, it's about $122. So I'm still shy by $2. That's something else that you can get under the starter kit. You you cannot go above the $125. So it's up to $125. But you can see it's a lot of stuff that you'll get. And during this time, you only pay $75 plus tax. There's no shipping. So it ends up being a really good deal. So because of that reason, I want to show you what you could do with it. Oh, and a pack of envelopes. Sorry. And a pack of envelopes, white envelopes. I was like, I'm missing something else here. Um, and so I don't know what I did with my envelopes, but anyway, but you will get also like a pack of envelopes, right? And that will be a $122 worth of, uh, merchandise. So it's a lot of product as you can see. Um, so I wanted to put this together so that you can kind of get a visual of what it is. Um, and of course, you can pick and choose what you want, right? Like, it doesn't have to be this. You can pick and choose. I just wanted to give you an idea of what it would be for the cars that I'm doing today. And then similarly, as we've done in the past, um, I'm still offering the car kit of the cars that I'm doing um, today. So anyone placing an order using this host code um, between now and November 12th will get a car kit to make the cars that I am making tonight. Now, if you, your order has to be $35 before tax and shipping, and if your order is $50, then you also get the pack of the holiday rhinestone. So a pack of these uh, from me as a thank you for your order. Um, so anyway, so different options. But again, today, I just wanted to make sure you knew what an awesome deal the starter kit is because it really is truly a good one so anyway so let's just go with our first card and let me just tell you one thing here um so here are the pieces that i have and i say these and i'm like what was i thinking here oh yeah yeah, yeah. you know i planned this right when i came back from vacation and sometimes it's like what was i doing okay so here's what it is so i have a piece of the uh evening evergreen Okay, and this is um, eight and a half by five and a half. I scored it at four and one quarter, which is half of our sheet. And then I cut out one on one side, one inch. Okay, and then I came back and scored this section at, I think it was like a two. Yep, a two. So I just need to score a two so that I can make a little something here you're going to see. So that's how this came back, okay? So again, it's just your regular eight and a half by five and a half, escorted in the half, so you have a four and one quarter, and then cut out on one of the ends, a one inch strip, and then score at the two inch mark. That's all it is. Oh, hi, Lainey, I'm glad you're recovering really well. Very exciting for you. <laughs> I hope Miss um, Dawn is treating you well. <laughs> Alrighty, then uh, for the inside of our card, we have um, a four inch by five and one quarter of the basic white, which is gonna go right here. And then this belly band, or not belly band, but this thing, I don't know how to call this, like a little belt. We're gonna glue it here, right? And let me also fold this section before I continue. Where's my phone folder? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and score this. So the way I was picturing this is we're gonna have this one right here. This one goes right here. Okay, and then this one goes right there. See that? So this one will open like so. So now a piece of designer series paper. This one is three inches by five and one quarter. Yep, by five and one quarter. So this one will go like right here. This one goes right here, and then this circle is going to go right here. Now, this one is a circle from the layering circles, and this one is a two, what is this, two and a half inch. There we go. So we're going to be putting it like right there. Oh, and then I have another piece of the designer series paper, same designer series paper, and this one is one inch by five and one quarter. So this one will go like right here. 
like right here. See that? It's going to go like so, then this one, and then this one. See? And then I can decorate these sections. So what do you think? In in principle, it looks nice, right? Now, um, I'm going to bring some scraps of paper. And in all or in full disclosure, um, so I did a card class a few months ago. I think it was my first card class. And I used the painted Christmas. And so I have lots of different um, pieces from there. So that's why I decided to use this one. Just because I already have several of those pieces cut out. But let me just show you real quick what, uh, how you would do these. Or how would you be stamping those. So I have here... Um, we're going to be using these two. Now for these ones, there is a section that it's um, like a detail and a fuller image, okay? For both the large and the small, what is this, pine cones again? Right. And then I want to be using also, I'm thinking this one, I think. It will be nice. And then what else do I want to be using? Oh, this one. I like this one a lot. This one and the little berries. So I'm using almost everything for this right now. Let's see. Okay, let's just... Now, because this is photopolymer, I'm also going to be bringing the... Oh. The... What is this called? Um, Pierce mat. So let's just bring those pieces. And um, I was running a little bit late because um, um, my husband had not yet arrived from the store. And so I couldn't come really quicker as the girl was with me. The little Addy. So this is why I just couldn't even get everything situated here. So bear with me as we are doing all of this. And um, one more for this one. Okay. Now, as far as colors, I'm going to be using the self suede. Yeah, self suede for this one. And um, I think I'm going to be using um, this, the self succulent for this leaf. Okay. Now, for the berries, I'm going to be using the real red. I like that one a lot. And I think that's it for right now. I'm also, of course, we're going to be using at some point for a sentiment, maybe either the evening evergreen or the early espresso. So we'll see. We're still, you know how this goes, right? Like I always have an idea, but not yet the card. That's how I roll pretty much every day. So anyway, so what we're going to be doing here is we're going to bring our self suede. And the first one that you're going to be using is the full image. Okay. So we're going to tap, tap, tap. I'm going to stamp first on a scratch paper. And then I'm going to be stamping here so that I have a lighter color. And then I'm going to bring the, the one that has like the details, right? Oh. And then I'm just going to eyeball it here and a stamp right there. And that's it. Same thing with this one. We're going to stamp first there. And then here. And then we're going to go ahead and bring the details. And there you go. See? Then the berries, like I said. Oh, for this one though. I'm going to bring first this one. Stamp here first. And then um, all of those were with the um, self suede. And then I'm going to bring the real red. And I'm going to be putting this one's. Uh, can you see? I don't know. Oh, let me put this one's here. I have way too many of these things here. Yeah. And I'm going to be lining them up. And because it's photopolymer, I can see through and line them up easy, right? So it's not too complicated as you can see, right? And then for this one, I'm going to go ahead and bring the, um, what is this color again? So circle line. All right. And so 
I'm just gonna go ahead. I don't know how many I need, so I'm just gonna put three and see how many I want, because I want something like that, okay? Now, I'm gonna bring the die cutting, the cotton bows machine, right? And so also, if you've been wanting to get this, uh, this machine, now this machine comes with different plates. I'll show you the plates here in a second. I don't even know. Oh, here. Like, where are my plates? Um, let me just tell you here. So let's just see it. So this machine comes with these plates. Now, if I'm doing, uh, like right now, I'm going to be cutting the, um, um, with the die cuts, right? So it will come with the two plates and then I'll put this one right here and then this one. It also comes with this one for embossing. And so this machine by itself, it's $125. If you've been wanting to get this machine for right now, because the starter kit could be anything you want, this could also be your pretty much your die cutting, your starter kit and only pay $75 plus tax. Versus if you want to buy the machine by itself, it will be $125 plus tax plus shipping. So like I said, it's definitely a good deal. So depending on what you want, uh, you can do anything. And like I said, being or getting that starter kit doesn't mean anything other than getting all your uh, all your items at a discount, pretty much. Uh, you don't have to be doing these classes. There's no penalties if you didn't do anything. Um, you will get your 20% discount at least between now and April, because that's when you would probably need to get your minimum to stay active. And if you don't stay active, like if you don't do anything, nothing happens. Um, another cool thing about being a demonstrator is that we get to see um, earlier any of the new catalogs. Like for instance, I think some of us going into um, on stage this week, we'll get, um, where's that one? Yeah, here. We'll get to see the brand new January, through June new catalog. So I'm excited about that. And of course you're part of a larger group uh, called the Stamp Therapist as well as in my team, but you're in my team and also in a larger group. So there's a lot of perks of being a demonstrator by getting that um, starter kit. But again, all it is is that, well, all it means is that you're now like a happy chopper and get um, a discount on all your purchases. So definitely not a bad deal. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and of these now i did put some uh washi tape on those not washi tape but um post-it note paper so that i could uh ensure that it's not moving around but you can see super easy here how these um how i can get all those pieces cut out and i probably need more of these hold on i need now the smaller one Uh -huh. now, this one I probably put too much, don't worry. All right. So we're just gonna put this one right there. And then again, this one. Okay, here is another one of those. So you just need to be... So how wide is this um, die cut machine? So this is a six inch, Sarah. The, um, so it's a six inch um, wide. And this side, it's, um, I think it's eight or 10. I think it's 10. So it's 10 by, what is this called? It's 10 by six. So this is the part that you really 
want, or I guess, if that's what you're asking me. Let me know. If not, then I'll measure the other side. Oh, I can hear my little Addy making the tantrums in the other room. I don't know what's happening, <laughs> but she's not happy, let me tell you. So anyway, yep. So it's not bigger than six inches, it's so six inch. Because that's pretty much how wide are our uh, folders, the, white, the largest or the widest one is that way. So anyway, so that's pretty much it here. Hold on. But like I said, this machine typically runs for uh, 125, so right now you get it at a really good price. And again, being uh, getting that starter kit doesn't mean anything other than all your subsequent orders will get at least a 20% discount. So it is a good deal. And um, so anyway, but if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you. And um, let's see. All right, so. Anyway, so we have those pieces. Let's just think about that. How do I want to be putting those? Um, Cause like I said, uh, I just want to see how I want. I always like to picture before I glue anything. Um, Cause you never knew. See like this one. I don't know if I need that many, right? So like this, I don't know that I like too many, maybe just the two and then maybe a little bow here, right? Now there is another sentiment here. Uh, where is my stamp set? This is Tis the Season. I thought this one will be really nice if we stamp it on um, this color on a white and then just cut it out. So just grab a piece of so I think I'm taking forever, so hopefully, we'll see. Hopefully uh, it's not too, okay. Now the uh, Christmas to remember, as Sam said, it is a, oh, I don't like how it went. Let me just do this again. Yeah, much better, much better. Um, So this one is a um, rubber red, a red rubber stamp. So you don't need to use your uh, pierce mat as in the other one. So anyway, so for this one, we're gonna go ahead and cut out this section. Um, there's no die for this, but it's just a rectangle. So it's not that bad of a deal. You just need to cut out um, this section. All right. Okay, so see something like that, and I like that, and then a little bow, right? We said we're gonna be using a bow. Um, where I, where is my ribbon again? Hmm, like I know it was here because I showed it to you earlier, but um, as you know, I'm always losing, oh, here it is. It's like, I'm always losing everything. You know me by now. It's kind of crazy. All right, so here it is, so I like it. We're gonna go ahead and start putting everything together. Oh, there we go. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and put out this one. We're gonna go ahead and put it all the way to the end. Okay, I'm gonna cut out this little section. I think I left a little Order, but okay, that's fine. Okay, and then for this one, I'm gonna glue this section, you know? I'd rather do... Okay. 
yeah. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this one right here. Now, if you want, you could have used one of the sentiments um, as well. There's lots of great stamp sets here or sentiments to use. Um, I probably will do it, but um, right now I think like I'm just talking too much. <laughs> and so definitely want to make sure we finish on uh, not too late. So anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive as well here. Alrighty. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and add this one right here, right? And then, like I said, we're gonna be adding this one. Now for this part, we just need to be careful because I don't wanna be adding any adhesive like outside that circle, right? So you gotta be um, careful with that part. So for this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and, um, let's see, oh, maybe this one's first. Right, because these ones go like in the background, so just in this section. Do you hear Addison? She is really having a meltdown right now. Not sure what's happening. But she's not a happy camper. I'm gonna be adding this one like right there. And then I'm gonna be adding this one here. So see how I can put uh, glue dots on those sections, right? So let's just bring the glue dots, but not on this one because it will go out. So I would probably just need like one here and maybe even just to, oh, what's the deal with this glue dot? This a weird shape. And you're just gonna be careful. And then this one, I'm gonna be putting it this one like so, and then this one in dimensionals, right? So again, be careful with where you're adding your adhesive. So I like that. And then this one, I'll add some dimensionals. And then I'll have this one like right here. Oh, I don't know if I had enough space for my ribbon, by the way. It already has a really, oh, maybe I just do a little, let's see. No, I don't like that. And the bow, I think it's too large. I might need to change years on this ribbon. Or don't use it on this card. Ooh, hold on. So I want this one to be right here. Oh, 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 yeah, definitely. Let's do this. Yes. And then move this one more here. And I have this one right there. Oh, here. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Oh, let's do this. Yes, okay. I think I have it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so I like it. So you just need to be playing with it and see where, where you want it. See? This is why I never had any car finish because I'm always playing with the design. Um, oh, here it is. It's like, where is the dimensionals? Oh, I think I need a small one. So again, I need to be careful where I put the adhesive. You don't want to have any adhesive outside that circle. Okay, so this one, I can put it right here and then have this one like right there, have this one right here. See, and let me just move it a little bit more like so. And I have this one. Yes, okay. Oh.
I'm going to be using two. And then I can put this one like right here. Yeah. And so this one will be with dimensionals. And I'm going to be using the little, little ones. Oh. Okay, and see there's no adhesive there. It looks like so. Hi, Carol. And see how beautiful this looks, right? I mean, who wouldn't like to get a cart like this? I just love it. Mm -hmm. So you have this one. What do you think? Do you like it? I hope you do. All right, so let's go with our next cart. Oh, you know what? We forgot our rhinestones. What is the deal with me today? We just need some... Um, what are these? The holiday. Now, I do have like a little... I put them together because I've noticed that in other things, I've not been using them that many. So let's use the green ones because it seems like I have lots of those. <sighs> Ooh, it looks nice, I think. Yeah, let's just use rhinestones. There we go. A little bit of something there. Yep, it looks nice. And you can put as many or as little as you want. So here it is. Now it's finished. Oh, thank you. You love the car. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Glad you're liking it. <laughs> Good deal. All right. So let's go with card number two. So card number two. Let's see. Now for this one, <laughs> I'm going to put this one for a second here. So for this one, let me see what I was thinking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is another kind of a fun fold type of card and i've already did this just different colors this one was in garden green where this one was with the uh what was self suckling so you already saw me do these so i won't be doing that again because you already saw me doing that right so no need uh that way we can go faster and then we'll see the rest here all right so now for this one i do want to use the um, I think it would be nice to use the, maybe, may these be a Christmas, yeah, I think that's the one that I want to be using. Yes, this one. All right, so let's go with this. And I'm going to be using the Early Espresso for this one. All right, so, um, so what I have here is a, let me show you here what I did. So this one was an 11 by 11 by four and one quarter, all right? And so what I have here is something like so. So something similar that I did in my other card, right? So I have them 11 by four and one quarter, which is a half of a sheet, a regular sheet, right? And then I scored it at five and a half, okay? And I cut out, um, I cut it out from here, there at one and a half. Let me just make sure I'm saying this right. Yep. At one and a half from this line. And then from this piece, so I have a piece like that. Then I cut out a piece that was one and one quarter. Okay. And that way I have these two pieces. So it was one and a half from here and then one and one quarter from here, if that makes sense. So you end up with a piece that is two and three quarters by four and one quarter okay so hopefully that makes sense i'm just showing what i did all right so for this one same thing as with the other one we're going to go ahead and <coughs> score that one um this one will go like so right and then this one is right here so here's the construction of this cart um i do have the two pieces from the designer series paper and this one is four is that right yeah, four by one. So this one will go like so. And then four by one and one quarter, which is going to go right here. Now for this piece, okay, 
I decided to go um, a quarter of an inch from every side. So this one is two and a half by four, okay? And so this one will go like so, okay? For my base, I'm gonna be putting this one like this, okay? Just so that you can see how it's starting to look. See how this one is starting to look, right? And then I cut out two labels out of this die set. So I've used this one and I cut out two. One is in the evening evergreen and one is on the basic white or ba yeah, basic white. And then I have um, a stamp, like I said, one of the berries with the stem and then this little leaf, which kind of remind me of this, this piece that is right there, okay? And let me know if you have any questions here. Okay, so now this one, I thought I was gonna cut out at half so that I have a little border on each side, okay? So we're gonna be cutting out this one in half. And this one, you just eyeball it. So that way I can have a little piece here showing up and then a little piece showing up here, okay? So. Now, let's just glue everything for right now. And let me just think about something else. So if I have the sentiment that says, oh, make this be a Christmas to rumor. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna leave it just with that. And the reason I say that is because I wanna make sure that I can, I only have this space to write my notes. So I won't be using any, I won't be doing anything because that that is just really a small space that I have to address it. So I'm gonna leave it white for right now. If if you know what I mean right now. Now my car base, I don't think I said that it's uh sherry cobbler. In case you were wondering. So I think I didn't mention that. And you can mix and match the different patterns on this paper. There's definitely really nice patterns on this pack. And so you could definitely be pick, um, yeah, mix and matching the different ones. Oh, hi, Eva. So are you in Mexico? Is that what you're saying? Are you in Mexico? Where in Mexico are you? I think I saw a picture of you, some, not of you, but I think of the place where you were staying. I just don't remember the the location, but it looked, it looked really nice, Eva. So let me know where you are right now. And then we're gonna go ahead and put out this one. Oh, you're in Cancun. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. I really want to go there. And yes, it's definitely a really nice place. Like, like I said, I saw a picture you posted on Facebook where you were, and it just looks amazing. So, oh, one thing I want to make sure you know is that as you're cutting your paper, make sure that you pay attention to the pattern. Like in this case, you can see it's like little bees. It will be weird if I have one section in bees and then one like this way. So just pay attention, especially for pieces of paper that had some sort of direction, okay? Because when I was cutting for this one, I didn't pay attention and I was using another one and it was like this way and it looked weird. So I have to cut out another piece of paper um, just to make sure I have the same. Now, if you don't, care about those things then it's okay but you know sometimes i get too i don't know i don't know like too into those things so now i'm gonna go ahead and just if you if you see i only need like a little piece here and a little piece here okay so you don't need a lot now you do need to leave these put like so or something so that it's not moving around and Okay, that way you don't have any adhesive showing up. If it, <laughs> um, if it, um, it shows something, you can just use your eraser, 
your adhesive eraser and then take it off. Okay, so that's how you would do that one. Okay, now um, as far as this part, like I said, I want to put the sentiment, but before we do any of that, let's just picture how this one is looking already. I want this one right in the middle, just a little bit showing up. Okay, I want this sentiment somewhere here and then have like this right here. And I was thinking about um, having a, the bow. Let's just see, Let's again, this bow, it's kind of a, not bow, this ribbon, it's kind of a, a thick one. So I like to see how it looks before I do anything, you know? One option, oh, one option would be to do like a zigzag, although I don't think that I like that option, but I do feel like maybe a bow again will look nice. So you just need to do. And again, uh, when you place an order with me using that host code, you'll get the card key to make these cards. You do have to be placing your orders by um, Friday, November 12th. Um, just so that I have enough time to be cutting out during the weekends, you know? Uh, there we go. So let's just see, I have this one right here. If I put it like right here, then I can put one of these. I might be able to have this one like right there. And then maybe, I don't know, ooh, maybe something like this. Maybe, let's see, it seems like it could work. Okay, let's see. So let's just uh, stamp this one all the way to the top. And I'm gonna be cutting out this. Let's see. There we go. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Eva. All right, all the way to the top. Hopefully, there you go, see? So all the way to the top as much as you can. And then we're gonna go ahead and add adhesive here. And I just want a little tiny border. Let me get my, um, I'm gonna bring again. All right, there you go. So here we have it, see? So now I'm gonna be adding this one right here. Again, I'm gonna be, oh, maybe, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll put it right here in the center and then have those little berries and this one right here. It looks really nice. I actually like how it looks. Yep, so I'm gonna go this way, see? Yep. All right, so I'm gonna go this way. It looks okay for me. So I'm gonna be adding this one with dimensionals. Where are my dimensionals again? Oh, here. I'm always losing them, always. Oh, you like it, Sharon? I'm glad you do. I'm glad you do. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put in this one right here. 
And then, like I said, we're going to be adding like this one right here so it doesn't show up. Just need to be careful with how I position those. Yep. So same as with the other one, we're just going to be adding adhesive on this section. Right? And I have this one right here. Now, for this one, I can put uh, glue dots on those two. So, on this one. And this one. And I still can see that C. So I was I was trying to be careful with that and then have this one. Oh actually I can put it like so, you know? Yes, okay. Oh my gosh, Sharon. I love that one a lot. <laughs> You're so funny. I really like this pattern a lot. I feel like it's just great. There you go. See? And then we can sprinkle some of the... Um, this things again. And I might need to just move this one a little bit down so that it doesn't... So like I feel I have some empty areas right there. There you go. And so right there. And there's some reds. I could have used the red ones now that I think about it, but it's okay. It looks okay. You can um, make some match. But see, this one would open like so. And again, you have only this space to write down. So um, you can put a sentiment right here if you want or just address it. So it's not a lot because you want to be careful to not show up on these sections. Okay. So that one, that one is card number two. And then let's go for card number three. Now, card number three shouldn't be that that uh, complicated, I think. Um, I did also have... Um, let me just show you how I did this one. Because I didn't show you those. But, uh, of course, you have this one. And, I'll, in all honesty, like I said, because I had that other card class... I have some leftover pieces that I was trying to use. And so that's why I have some of those already done. And that was the inspiration for my cards. I was like, I have all of these. I should probably be making some cards with this. So um, the way I was picturing this card, this is not a phone fold. But I was picturing to have something like this. And then, let me see, I think this is the last of my ribbon. Something like that. Have this one like these, and then have this little, and I don't know if I want, yeah, 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 no, this one is the one that I want. Oh, where is this? My goodness. And I have this one. Well, I don't know. There's another one that has a little, only the berries, uh, which I thought I had here. Give me a second. Here it is. It's like, I know they're similar. There. It's just the berries. You have the die set has one that can die cut only the berries. This is the one. Yeah. Only the berries. Yes. I don't want the one with the stem for this one. I was like, I thought I had the other one. Yeah. That's this one. So that would be. Okay. So that's kind of what I picture. Hi, Cynthia. Oh, thank you so much for sharing. Um, you always help me a lot when you share the video. So I really, really, really appreciate when you do that. Um, so anyway, so let's just do the stamping so that you can see that. So let me just bring again the Pierce Man, which, what did I do with it? Oh, here, it's just like, what did I do with this? Okay, so we're going to be using again our piece of paper. 
And um, let's just ring this one. And where is the stamp set again? Here. So, oh. Uh oh, what did I do with the stamp set? Hmm. Well, I mean, it's here. Clearly, it's here somewhere. Seriously, where did it go? Do you see it, guys? Do you see it? Uh, oh, here it is. It's like, oh, this is why it drives me nuts every single time. Here it is. Oh, these are linked together, so I don't need these two. Hold on. I need larger ones. So this is two. Okay. And then for this one, I'm going to be using the Pure Pieces. I believe that's the one that I use. So same as with the other one. We're just going to go ahead and stamp off the first time. Oh, this is too light, so maybe I don't want to be doing that. There you go. Much better. And then I'm going to go ahead and then with the old olive. Yes, that's what I did. And then you're just going to go ahead and again, eyeball it. And there you go. Once you have that, you get out your um, die set. You have this one, cut them out. And then you get these two leaves from there. Okay? So that's what we do for that one. <clears throat> now for the... Let me see. So I'm going to be using these. And... And for the leaves, like I said, for the little berries, like I said, um, we use the same stamp set we used a minute ago, a few minutes ago, like at the beginning, this one. Ink it with the real red, right? And uh, there is a dye, here it is, this one, that will cut out just the berries, okay? So you have the option to cut out the berries by themselves or um, to cut them out with the stem, like we did on this, or with the branches, like we did on the first one. Okay, so just so that you know what's happening here. All right, so now the label is also coming from here. So I cut out, um, see, this is driving me crazy because I have all of these pieces already out. But anyway, the label came from here and I feel like, I, yeah, here it is. So it's this one, all right? So this is the one that we're gonna be using. And so let's get ready. Now for this one, what is the sentiment? Uh, oh, yeah, have a, this one, have a holy jolly Christmas. There you go. This one. And we're going to be using also the um, early espresso. I love early espresso for sentiments. I don't know you, but that's like my favorite. Um, you could use any other color. Um, another thing that you could do um, that I was just toying with the idea is like maybe have these words with like uh, sherry cobbler and then just have the have a Christmas with the brown, you know, like the early espresso if you use your marker. So you could definitely play a lot with these. Uh, for right now, I'm just going to go straight um, with the sentiment just as straight with the uh, early espresso. But again, there's lots of things you could be doing as well. <clears throat> Alrighty, so we have all our pieces here. And so, now for this one, we have eight and a half by five and a half, scored it already in half. 
at four and one quarter and then we're going to be folding it and even though i've pre-scored i still uh use my bone folder i still like to have a really nice crisp fold now this one is uh five and one quarter hold on yeah five and one quarter by four okay so it's gonna go like so here and then for these pieces I have um, this one is three and one quarter by three and three quarters and this one is two by um, three and three quarters okay so we're gonna go ahead and add this one like so and then this one like so right I am gonna put it in the center and then this one. There you go. How do I always place this down? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just practice. I don't know, Eva. It's just, um, yeah, I mean, I do so many cards all the time that I guess now it's just practice. So just practice, practice, practice. So this is the last of my ribbon, as you can see. So this ribbon was on back order for the longest as well. I'm telling you, all these, uh, all these products have been so popular that it's just crazy. Okay, so now for this one, we're going to be using our, uh, what is this called? Tear and tape, right? I found that this is like the easiest way. You do just have to... Um, What is the word? Burnish? I think it is the word. Yeah, that ribbon is gorgeous. This one and the gold shimmer have been my favorite for sure. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And I believe the gold ribbon is again back on stock as well. Oh, I want it more towards this side. Uh, I don't anymore. Yep, I think that's good. And so now I can go ahead and add this piece to my heart base, right? You just need to center it. Oh, Sarah, I love using ribbon. I think, to be honest, that all cars should have ribbon, grindstones, or some sort of gems. I mean, all of them. <laughs> that's just that's just me. That's just my preference. But yeah, I just love them. So I'm gonna be putting this one more like this, so I can put this guys here. Right, and then have this one come here, like so. See that? I think it looks nice. I can also put it on this side if I want, depending on. Ooh, I think I like it. I don't know. What do you think? And I want these berries like this way. Yeah. 
I don't know. No, I think I like it better on this side. Again, it's just your own preference, you know? Just play with it. I think on the top I like it better. And, um, yeah. And let me see if maybe a bow on this side. I feel like now I am off balance. Yes. Totally, Sharon. Um, the embellishments always add some texture to, to the cards. Yes, definitely. Let's see. Ooh, yes. See, I think this goes well. So let's just go with this. Alrighty. So we're going to go ahead and cut this ribbon and have it here. Yes, definitely. I feel like I need to cut a little bit more. There you go. All right. So now for this one, we're going to go ahead and add the dimensional, which I lost again. My gosh. Oh, here. Here they are. I feel like I need the little ones. I like using both um, little and and the large ones or the regular ones. There we go. Whoop. There we go. I'm gonna be having this one somewhere here. Have this one. Yep. With the glue dots. Oh, Sharon, you're so nice. I'm so happy you're liking them. Thank you so much. You are so sweet. You're always so sweet with your comments. So thank you. Thank you. So now we're going to be adding this ones right here. Now for this ones, I'll add this one right here. And then this one right there. And then I'm going to be adding dimensionals here. There you go. And a glue dot right there. I don't think you need it, but these glue dots are so weird. Do you see the shape on this one? Are, are, are this just weird shape glue dot. Looks like a half a circle. There you go. And then of course, let's add some of those uh, rhinestones. Now for this one, I think it will be nice if I sprinkle the reds, right? Maybe, probably. I do have a few leftovers. Ooh, oh, maybe I'll use that like in the berries. Well, I don't know. No, just one here and one there. I like how it looks, just two there. You could add them on the berries too if you want. All right. Okay, so here are, here is the card. So what do you think? Very simple and it still looks really, really nice, don't you think? So let's just go through all the cards that we did tonight. Let me know which one is your favorite. We had two phone folds, just kind of like a, new type of them hi Rhonda. don't worry there's always a replay so don't worry 
Yeah, maybe still. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I like how you think. Berries, yeah. What is the wink of a Stella? <gasps> yes, let's do that. Since I already have them all. So let's just add some. Um, last time, I think it was Don who said the wink of a Stella. And I couldn't find my, um, my, what was this called? Oh, yeah. Let's just add them on all, since I have it here. Um, my wink of a Stella. I was like, oh, and oh my gosh, I had to find them or I have to find it, you know, so I'm glad I found it now. It's right here. So we can add some wink of a Stella. Now, one thing you have to make sure you remember is that, um, always, always, especially if you're using it on the ink like this, if it were the, um, the blends, um, that's okay. But usually for the regular inks, you have to clean your wink of a Stella, right? And you just use a regular piece of paper and then uh, wipe it until you don't see any more color. Because otherwise, the next time you use it, you're going to have that red in your project. So especially with the red colors, but, um, but anytime you're using it with um, regular ink, make sure you clean it because it pick up, it, it pick up the color from your ink pad. Oh, so anyway, so let me know which one is your favorite. Like I said, I show you three projects using a kind of like a starter kit. Uh, and like I said, right now that a starter kit, it's um, you select $125 worth of products. You only pay $75 and taxes. There's no shipping. So you end up saving a lot. And so I give you an idea of a starter kit using all the products that I feature on these cards. Or if you like the idea, maybe you want to get that cotton embossed machine which is amazing. Um, that one, it's 125 and you could get it for 75 right now, plus tax. So definitely a great deal right now. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be sending an email uh, in the next few days and I'll send the link and everything. But if you have any questions, you can always email me at ali at creatingwithali.com. And also, if you place an order with me, again, remember, use this host code. Orders have to be $35 to get the card kit and if your order is 50 you also get the pack of the rhinestones in your order as a thank you for 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 uh, purchasing with me so thank you thank you so much i'm glad uh, to see you all and <laughs> i'll see you next week so let me see great cards oh thank you pat you're so nice uh cindy you like all of them yonju yonju like all of them <laughs> cynthia you too oh thank you thank you all right, no favorite. <laughs> Kathy, you're so nice. Um, the first one is your favorite. Uh, sorry. Yeah, I like that um, that fold, definitely. This fold was kind of like a nice one. So yes, definitely. Um, yeah, all right. So <laughs> you're also sweet. Anyway, so have a good night and I'll see you next Tuesday. All right, bye for now.